Hello. So let's go ahead and work on this example. We're going to use laws of exponents to simplify this expression. And we will make sure that our answer contains only positive exponents. So let's go ahead and do that. So, so we have one third to the fourth power. Well, what that means is you have the factor one term, one third times itself four times. So you have one third times one third times one third times one third. So that's what it means to be raised to an exponent. And then you have negative three to the second power. So you can think of this as negative three times negative three. So that's how you would expand it by using laws of exponents. So what we want to do, we want to simplify this. So I'm not going to expand it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use laws of exponents to simplify. So, so if you recall from before, laws of exponents says if you have, say, a over b to the power n, you can distribute the power. This is a to the n over b to the n. So I'm going to do that for the first term. So we simply have 1 to the fourth and 3 to the fourth times, well, negative 3 to the second. Let's just write it like that. So now we can evaluate what 1 to the fourth is. Well, 1 to the fourth, 1 to the any power is always 1. So that's 1. So then we have 3 to the fourth. You could write 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, but let's just keep it in exponential form because we want to simplify it with the term 3, negative 3 to the second power. Well, negative three to the second power simply means you have a negative one to the second power and the negative uh, positive three to the second part because I factor that negative one out. So you can think of it, there is a one times three right there. So that makes a negative three. So, so now, well, we know what one negative one square is. If you square a negative number, it's positive. So negative one square is positive one. So really what we have is one to the one over three to the fourth power times negative one squared. That's just simply one. And then let's just write three square. Well, now here I can just extend the fraction line, call it just a single fraction. So now I have three square on top, three to the fourth on the bottom from laws of exponents. Again, if you recall, we know that if you have, say, a to the n o power over a to the m power, the laws of exponents is same base. We can subtract them. So this would be n minus m power. Using the power rule, rule of exponents, we can say this is 3 squared over 3 to the 4. I can simply subtract their exponent. So this would be base 3 to minus 4 which will simply be three to the negative two power. And now you have to make your exponents positive. Well, how do we do that? Again, from laws of exponents, you know if you have a to the negative n power, that's simply one over a to the positive n power. So I can write my negative three to the negative two as a fraction, and then just simply reciprocate this. So that's one over now three to the positive two power. And that is, if you evaluate, it's one over three times three, which is nine. So that will be our final result for this expression. So I hope this makes sense. Let's go ahead and try another example. So here's our second example. Again, we're going to use laws of exponents to simplify and then at the end finally express our answer using only positive exponents. So just keep all of those laws in mind and let's proceed. So same base, when you're multiplying, we're going to add the powers. So I have base A, base A, base A everywhere. Okay, so we can go ahead and proceed. So from the top, well, these are multiplying. So I can keep the base A and add their exponents. So that'll be eight plus negative two all over A which you can say a to the one power. We often don't write one power because it looks silly to write. So, but if you want, go ahead and do that. So let's combine the exponents on top. So that'll be eight plus negative two, which is six. 
So this is a to the sixth power over a. And now finally, uh, same base, I'm, sub I'm going to subtract their exponents. So let's suppose there is a one there. So you do top exponents minus the bottom exponents. So simply your base is a six minus one, which is simply a to the fifth power. If you want, you can write these over one, but that's totally fine. We don't want to write uh, one all over. So you can just simply say this is a to the fifth power as the final answer. Okay, let's go ahead and try another one. So for this one, we're going to do the same thing and simplify. So let's go ahead and using laws of exponents, I'm going to distribute the power right here to, to every single term inside the parentheses. That's one way to do it. Another way to do it is just to hold on to the power and just simplify if you're able to everything inside the parentheses. So it looks like that would be a simpler way to go, but you can do it whichever way you feel comfortable. But at the end, we should both arrive at the same answer. I'm gonna go ahead and simplify these because they have same base. I can simply subtract the exponents. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have big parentheses to the second power. Now five and seven, they don't simplify. So we just rewrite them. Now X to the four and X to the two on the bottom, I subtract their exponents. So four minus two would give me X to the second power. So that's what it simplifies to. Now I can go ahead and distribute this exponents to every single term inside the parentheses. So that would simply give me five gets exponent two. Now X to the second power gets an exponent two and then seven gets an exponent two. And now finally expand that. So five to the second power, that's 25. X squared to the second power, that's X to the fourth because you multiply the exponents and seven squared, that's 49. And then finally, you just check if there's anything that simplifies. Nothing simplifies. This would be the simplified answer. Okay, let's go ahead and try one last example. So finally, for this one, we will do the same thing, but now we start having negative exponents. So we have a little bit more work to do. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing that I did for previous problem. Just simplify the inner piece and then we'll deal with the exponent that's outside. But you can approach other ways. So um, I'm gonna simplify a's first. So I have these a's and let's go ahead and subtract their exponents. So we'll do the top minus the bottom. So we still have big parentheses to the negative third power. And then I have the fractional line. I still have two out there. So I will do, so for a's we have a to the negative one and then a to the two. I'm gonna subtract their exponents. So that gives me a to the negative one minus two, which will simply be a to the negative three. So that goes right here, a to the negative three. So you might wonder why don't I make it positive now, but I'm just gonna hold on until the very end to make them positive. For now, let's just subtract them. So now again, b's, so they're dividing. So you subtract their exponents again. So you have, so let's go ahead and do that. So we have b to the one over b to the negative four. I'm going to subtract their exponents. So I have b to the one minus negative four, which will simply be b to the fifth power because negative, negative is positive. So that'll be b to the fifth power. And on the bottom, there is nothing. So you can just say there's just one there. Okay. So I have taken care of everything that's inside. I combined my common base and now that's what I have. Everything raised to a negative third power. So now you can go ahead and distribute the power, negative three to everything, or you can reciprocate the fraction. So there are two ways you can do it. I will go ahead and distribute since that's what I did previously. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my power, distribute to everything right here, everything even the one in the bottom too, see if you are wondering why not, right? So two gets a power of negative three, a gets a power of negative three times negative three, and then b to the fifth gets a power of negative three, and finally one gets a power of negative three. 
So now if I go ahead and simplify this, two to the negative three, I wanna make that one positive. So that will go to the bottom, two to the positive three. Now, a to the negative three to the negative three, that's a to the, you multiply the powers, that's positive nine. b to the fifth times negative three, that's b to the negative 15. And then one to the negative three, that's just simply one, because one raised to any power is always one. Good thing, right? So now finally, now simplify this by making negative exponents positive, you just switch their places. So this one is negative, we need to make it positive by just bringing it down here. A to the ninth is already positive, so no need to move that term. So we have A to the ninth, and on the bottom two to the third, that's already positive, we did that. Two to the third is simply eight, because it's two times two times two. And then B to the negative 15, now it becomes B to the positive 15. And now everything is positive power, this would be our final result. Okay, so uh, that's it. I hope this makes sense. I'll see you next time.